This is the only video you will need about money in the Philippines. Whether you have a lot of money or very little, I will be sharing with you the average cost of living in the Philippines as a single guy. So over the last few days, I've been building a comparison chart of the latest prices across the major areas of the Philippines. Naturally, different businesses and establishments offer different prices, but the location can impact the average cost of living in the Philippines. This chart I will use as as a guideline, but also take into account my own experience and feedback from the expat community to give you a more rounded estimate. The accommodation costs are the most expensive expense for most. Condominiums offer convenience, security and more facilities, however on average houses and small apartments are cheaper. In most cities you can find a decent small bedroom house for under 12,000 pesos. If you are aiming for a small condominium, a small studio is around 18 to 19,000 pesos but you can find cheaper accommodation if you are prepared to sacrifice quality additionally there are also some nice places to rent on Airbnb food entertainment and general expenses all differ from person to person so let's go in a different direction instead of looking at a breakdown at different costs which we have done several times throughout the videos on this channel let's take a look at particular areas on average Manila is the most expensive place in the Philippines however Manila is is extremely diverse and there are some cheap cities within Manila. For example, Quezon City is a city that has been known to offer low prices compared to other cities in Manila such as Makati City. Makati City is a beautiful place if money is not a problem, but if you are looking to live in the Philippines on a budget under $1,500, Manila in general is not the best place. Cebu is also a popular option and on average is cheaper than Manila, but as the city has become in demand over the years, prices have increased. An average budget of $1,500 is enough to live in Cebu, but if you wish to live in a good location and really enjoy life every day, it's best to have a budget of at least $2,000. But this is not necessary for most people. Davao, Dumaguete and Iloilo City are three popular areas with retirees and expats. These cities are perfect for foreigners as they are cheap and modern. Of course there are several provinces available if you want to live much cheaper, however if you still enjoy your comforts but on a budget then these three cities are some of the best. $1,500 is recommended on average but you may find in Davao and Iloilo City specifically that the cost of living is less. Many YouTubers have spoken in detail about the cost of living in the Philippines and many of these talk about living in the Philippines for less than $1,000 a month. You can live on $1,000 a month in the Philippines and you can even live well, but you may need to give up some convenience in order to achieve this goal. From my research, many expats and retirees spend around $1,200 at the low end and $1,700 at the high end. When calculating the living costs as a single guy or single girl in the Philippines, it's best to consider the added expenses and unexpected expenses. For example, if you do not have insurance, this can be an unexpected expense. Likewise, sending money from the Philippines to your home country or vice versa will be an added expense. However, if you are slightly concerned about your financial situation in the Philippines, let me put your mind at ease. It is very easy to change your lifestyle at any time. As long as you do not get locked into a long contract, you can quickly change your living location easily and due to the current market there are many available units to rent, cheap food to buy and breathtaking tours, all at an affordable rate. Take a look at our next video where I speak about the biggest mistakes that foreigners make while moving and living in the Philippines. You will not be disappointed.